Hello, this is Barry, and you're watching Barry in the PI. Uh, it's about a little about 4:30 in the afternoon, and it looks like we may be getting some rain again. Uh, so I hope this doesn't ever interrupt my video. Today I wanted to talk about that the Philippines is is a country that has more natural disasters than any other country in the in the world. We just had a, uh, a typhoon came through. Um, it hung around for several days, even though it didn't directly hit uh, the Philippines. It uh, veered off and went just to the north of the Philippines and then moved all the way to uh, up to uh, Okinawa and, and some of the islands of Japan. But the Philippines gets more of those uh, than just about anybody else. Uh, not only typhoons uh, affect the people, but uh, we also have a hell of a lot of volcanoes too. <laughs> And uh, those do erupt at occasionally. Uh, Mount Pinatubo up in, in uh, Angeles City, outside of Angeles City, uh, what pretty much drove out the U.S., closed down the U.S. bases there. Uh, of course, uh, the, the people here were ready to get to get rid of the bases. Uh, they weren't as needed as they were in during the Vietnam War. Uh, so uh, we have to worry about that. We've got one right down here called the Lake to All and Volcano. It uh, erupted back in 19, January of 1920. I mean, 2020, and uh, it affected uh, us, me here, because when it erupted, it knocked out all the power uh, to this area, all the way into the Gaitai, and the uh, ash uh, really just covered, closed down all the hotels and restaurants along the, the lake and uh, so uh, that's only a one you got uh, Mayan volcano down by Legaspi it occasionally erupts uh, got uh, Mount Apo which is the tallest mountain in the Philippines uh, it erupts occasionally too. So uh, we've got that to worry about too. Uh, sea level rising, which is happening because of the due to climate change, it's flooded in the, uh, on the coastal areas. It shut down some of the coastal cities because they're underwater now. I know one one town they built a, they just went and built their houses on stilts and still live there. Uh, so that's a problem too. Uh, also, um, uh, we have a lot of you might call them man-made disasters, but. Uh, uh, we, we've got a lot of uh, old uh, ferries uh, transporting people between islands and those ferries sometimes uh, uh, go down. Uh, I was on one ferry one day during, it was a kind of a rainy day and we were going from uh, Batangas to uh, uh, 
Puerto Galero, and uh, I got on this boat. It wasn't a real big boat, uh, and passengers sat down inside the boat, and the seas were pretty rough, and Maida gets seasick, so she took some pills, uh, Dramamine, I think, to uh, combat that. Well, that, that puts her to sleep. And I'm in here, and I'm sitting inside the cabin. The waves outside were higher than the ship was. And uh, I mean, we were just saving and uh, And I said, oh God, please don't let this engine stop or else we're going to be sinking. Uh, it was really a rough ride. And uh, I might have slept through it. I figured, oh, what's happening? I, I'm going to get her out of here if it starts sinking. So, Apollo, 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 no, no, Apollo's the worst of them, I think. <laughs> he just barks that little laugh, that little bark, and uh, but she does it a long time. Right, 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 right. So, uh, that's uh, some of the things you have to work uh, work with. Also, earthquakes. We get earthquakes here. We're sitting right on the ring of fire, and uh, we get earthquakes. Um, probably last year we had four, five, six, something like that. Uh, so. If you're going to build here, you need to make sure you're not right up, sitting right on a fault where the earth moves. So, those are some of the things you have to consider when you're moving here. Where do you want to live? Uh, you know, as I say, coastal areas are with, with uh, rising seas. So you're, you're, you might be under, uh, under the sea, your, your property. As it's, it's happening, uh, and too many people just don't care and don't believe it's going to happen. But 97% of the uh, climate scientists agree that's what's happening and so you start, should be prepared for that. Uh, don't get your your uh, self too close to that coast to where if it rises that you're going to be flooded. Uh, we also have uh, torrential rains uh, and that floods uh, have a lot of floods uh, and landslides uh, so usually when there's a typhoon come in uh, warn you to avoid landslide areas and uh, you can find that out through what areas are are uh, partial to uh, flooding and uh, landslides. Those kill a lot of people and leave a lot of people homeless for a long period of time. So, the Philippines is a wonderful place to live, to retire to. Uh, I knew all of this before we moved here. And I like volcanoes, so <laughs> I wanted to be near the 
the old volcano. And uh, so that's not just me. Uh, and so um, also other areas get really hot. Uh, I know we lived uh, for a few months in Angeli City and it was hot. So, uh, take those things into consideration because they do happen. And uh, uh, I, I don't regret it. it, it I'm, I'm perfectly happy here. Uh, my pace of life is laid back, easy going. Uh, and, bring on the typhoons. <laughs> uh, I'm not as worried about them because most of them come off out from the eastern, uh, the Pacific side. And we're on kind of uh, the we western side. And so they had mountain ranges across before you get to us. And we live uh, not as high as the wind as when they had made landfall. And uh, so, just pick, the, pick your place wisely and understand that those things do happen. Uh, typhoon is like a hurricane in the U.S. Uh, and uh, we've got one uh, tropical depression right now out in the Pacific, but it looks like it's going to even going to come close. It's going to go up north. Uh, it's Chandin, I think. It's like Chandin. Uh, so, but it, what it will do, that'll bring in the southwestern monsoons uh, from this direction. So, <coughs> if you live on the west, west coast of uh, the Philippines, uh, well, you're going to get some rain. It's going to bring in the rain. Uh, but I guess it could, could become torrential rain, but uh, it'll be beneficial rains for us. And I like the rain. And I like to listen to the rain. And, uh, so that's, that's things that, uh, here that you have to understand and know about, be aware of, listen to the warnings when issued by the government. They keep close tabs on it, they're pretty good. Uh, same thing with the uh, Voltec uh, that man man monitors the volcanoes and, and uh, earthquakes here in the Philippines. And they will issue warnings when something's happening. But I say don't let it stop you from coming. Just be wise about uh, where you're going to be, where you want to live, because uh, this is a wonderful place to live. And, uh, and I enjoy it. Uh, of course, we, we've got a really nice piece of property and house is real nice. Need some work, but uh, we're all right. So that's about it. I wanted to, the uh, last uh, typhoon said, I, I haven't done a thing about about the natural disasters here in, in the Philippines. Uh, also, if you're living in uh, the mountainous areas uh, there's a lot of bus buses uh, uh, drive off the mountains <laughs> uh, that's, why, that's the easiest way to explain uh, driver goes to sleep it's at night uh, other traffic driving on the wrong side of the road. So 
those things happen too. Uh, so y'all take care and stay safe uh, and enjoy your time here in the Philippines. Uh, if you want to stop by here to visit, I'm here just about every day. And uh, y'all take care, take care of your family and your pets. I've got five dogs here and uh, they're happy here. And so enjoy life and uh, I'll see you again hopefully tomorrow. This is Barry over and out.